every few hours i'm just like a snacker so every yeah. few hours i like to have a snack kiss of death kiss of death don't do it it's why i like to try to push eating back for as long as possible because if i didn't i'd be snacking all day I, it's just <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goop. So I want to take a second look or a third look or a fourth look. I don't know what look I'm on of Alexander Rodriguez because the sheer fact that she only had gastric um, bypass surgery two years ago and is still super morbidly obese. I, I want to I, I want to find out how this ticks. I want to find out how she ticks because I, I don't know how she did it. I, I literally don't know how she did it. So we're going to take a look at a couple of her videos today. Um, the first one I want to look at is a video that she did 17 months after her weight loss surgery. Um, basically reprimanding her haters um, about how it's not nice to talk about her failed <laughs> weight loss surgery. I don't know. We're going to take a look at it together, but I have a funny feeling she's going to say that she's doing awesome. Okay. Anyways, so, um, we're going to get on with it, but I would like to take a moment and thank all my new subscribers and welcome. I hope you stay and play. And um, we're, I really try to keep a community here. Um, I'm really interested in what you guys say. Positive, negative, and different. Sharing your stories. I love it all. Um, I've been a little bad on comments lately because things are a little crazy here in the goob house. But I promise to get back to it. Anyways, if you're not subscribed yet, why? Anyways, guys, let's get on with it and let's see what chaos and pandemonium Alex is leading us into. I mean, why not? It's Sunday. Okay. So this is addressing my failed weight loss surgery. And I don't know about you, but I get a little bit of sarcasm when I read this. Okay. Especially because as I'm reading you this title, we're looking at a cooler full of everything that's not water. Okay, yeah, the ingredients in a lot of these are water, but there was a lot of carbonation in here. Uh, it's all carbonation. And then um, sports drinks, like there's no, maybe they're Yars, but I feel like I've seen her drink one of these before. You, nobody needs sports drinks, unless you're like the type of person who can't eat a regular meal um, for whatever reason and you need to drink your meal, fine. But otherwise, nobody trying to lose weight needs one of those but um i don't know let's hear what's let's hear what um lecture alex has to say okay you guys <clears throat> so i just took a shower i've been kind of chilling but so this is where amber gets her whole i have to announce when i take a shower thing i don't know i have something on my chest that i have been like not wanting to talk about but like feel like i kind of need to talk about because i'm just really sick of seeing these comments like i know we're not supposed to let comments get to us as so what i'd like to know is where she's seeing these con comments um i've not read every single one of her comments but she doesn't have any negative comments in the at least the top you know the top 10 top 20. so i wonder where she's seeing this instagram maybe or is she talking about the comments right before she deletes them i don't know it's content creators or whatever the word is i don't like the word influencer but comments oh my dear you're full of shit. you want to be an influencer all day long and this is why i'm still making videos about you because the message you're giving young people is dangerous okay do get to you sometimes they really do and like this is something that's already hard for me 
but when I like read comments about it, it's just, it just, it's, it's hurtful. Seeing people say like, why is she still so big? How do you feel having another failed weight loss surgery? Comments like that. All right, well, okay, you could be constructive and not rude keyboard warriors, guys. You know, they're behind their little keyboards. They could say whatever they want. You just, but there is always a little truth to whatever anybody says. So like, for instance, I don't get a lot of mean comments at all, but because I, you know, the, the meanest comments I get are Alexandra supporters coming for me in the comments, which come for me in the comments. I live for this, guys. This is why what I'm trying to do. I want all kinds of comments, but they tend to do things like they go after my teeth. Yeah. You're right. I need to get my teeth fixed. I've wanted to do it for years. I think next year is going to be the year. But, okay, yeah, my teeth are crooked. Okay, sure. So, it's just something you have to do. You have to take the good with the bad. Listen, she has this job of being online on YouTube and making these silly videos and gets to buy all kinds of stuff. Um, I watched part of her video that she uploaded a few days ago. She has a humongous Lululemon haul. And then she gets other pants and then um, Air, uh, American Eagle. And I mean, just the Lululemon, I started calculating it. It was probably about um, maybe pushing $1,000. It's crazy. Crazy. So, I mean... You do this, you get an awesome lifestyle where you pretty much don't have to do anything else. Because listen, me, I have my regular job. I do this and then I still have a house to keep up. I don't get to video myself doing my house because nobody cares. Okay, I'm here to react. Nobody cares about Mama Goo personally. I mean, I know you guys love me. Thank you. But I'm not a vlogger. Okay, so I still have to get everything done. All she has to do is shop, film, eat, and play Susie Homemaker. Uh, I, all right. I are really, really not cool. People love to bash me about my weight um, and about how I have had gastric bypass and I'm not Thin. I have lost well over a hundred pounds. I have been. But this is 17 months after, okay? So February, so 15 months after, okay? She should be down well more than a hundred pounds, guys. She was like 400 pounds when she started, okay? Been feeling the healthiest, happiest version of myself. I work out consistently three times a week for the last. Only three times a week? Not only that, again, guys, weight's lost in the kitchen. I'm not impressed that she works out. I'm just not. I think it makes, it probably makes her more hungry, if anything else. Last several months, my blood work is great. My blood pressure, my cholesterol, everything is great. I feel so good mentally, physically. It's really discouraging. If only she could get help. Um, if only she can get life insurance. Encouraging to see people give me so much hate just because I had gastric bypass and I didn't come out of it. Criticism. Criticism. You probably do get hate, but trust me, you have more criticism than anything else. A year later, like super thin, like a lot of people do. Like it sucks because then people assume that I'm eating poorly and people I know people are going to comment you eat a ton of bread and pasta no I don't that's a lie she's going to say no I don't I kind of cut her off um we're going to see how that's a lie in just a moment but you know a lot of people look at me and I'm I'm sort of that person so listen I am in no way a skinny mini I'm no Eugenia Eugenia Cooney thank god but um you know I could still Stand to lose 30 pounds, guys, okay? But guess what? Nobody's concerned about my 30 pound weight loss. It's basically just because I just wanna be skinnier. My, even my OB says I'm okay for weight and they're the, they're the most critical people in the world, but I, I just, 
flabbergasted when people say that they eat healthy and they just, by a miracle of the human body, a biological miracle, they just can't lose weight. That's not how it happens, guys. And the reason why I keep harping on her is because there are a lot of young, younger, even older, impressionable folks watching her, thinking, why should I even bother with weight loss surgery? It's not gonna do anything for me. Look at Alex, she exercises all day. She could do whatever she wants and she couldn't lose the weight. That's wrong, okay? Maybe I'm one of the lucky ones, maybe. I don't know, but yeah, I did lose a bunch of weight quickly and I kept it off. It can be done. That's why I'm here. And this shit pisses me off. No, <laughs> I do not share every single thing I eat. Everything I eat is talked about with my nutritionist, my protein pasta. If I have a little bit of bread, it's usually whole grain. Like I don't just. Okay. Just because it has protein in it, unless it's like chicken or eggs, like actual chicken, like let's say you made a frittata with like potatoes and eggs and vegetables, that would be healthier than whole wheat bread or protein pasta, okay? You want to have pasta, have pasta, okay? That's why it's like, listen, if you're going to do it, do it. Like I don't buy any low fat yogurts, oh, I try not to, um, sour cream, mayonnaise, because if I'm going to eat it, I'm going to eat it, okay? I'm not playing around here. So just the fact that she is saying she's healthy because she eats protein pasta and whole wheat bread is why I'm here, guys, because that is not true. Just eat a bunch of bread and pasta and I don't even need to sit here and explain myself because that's just exhausting but like it's not cool to make up assumptions about me and what I eat and my health and my body it's hard enough to put myself online like every pretty much every I agree it's hard to put yourself out there but I would take all the criticism in the world to live her type of lifestyle. <laughs> like I, I know I always come off as jealous in these things because I am. <laughs> I just, I, okay, fine. I feel so sorry for you. You're so brave for coming out there and making friggin' five figures a month to sit here and look pretty. Okay. Every day I film um, and just know I'm gonna get scrutinized about my body. You know, so? it's vulnerable to share me having weight loss surgery anyway. You guys know when I was 16, I had lap band surgery, which people don't even really do now. I had a horrible experience with lap band. Um, I threw up like- They still do lap band. Like all my food. It was such a relief when I got it removed a few years ago. Okay, uh, but okay, I still throw up. And what we're gonna watch is her directly after her weight loss surgery. If I did a fraction of the things she did, I would have been constantly puking. It, it, it's just what it is, it sucks, but you gotta deal with it. After um, this experience Worth has it. been totally different. I know so many people expect you to come out of gastric bypass like thin. That's what you see, that's mm -hmm. what you see with a lot of people. Yep. Um, and that just hasn't been my experience. I'm eating well, I still eat way less than I did before my surgery. She eats well. And we're going to see another video of that she made after this of what I eat in a day where she admits that she eats a little bit throughout the day and snacks. Kiss of death when you've had weight loss surgery. You cannot do that if you're if you're in the journey to lose weight. Surgery. Um, I, I honestly love the surgery. It's helped me eat more balanced. Um, it's How? helped me with portion control and like kind of in a forced Better. way, <laughs> just cause like I get full way more quickly now. So you just eat a little bit um, later. I just, I, I'm happy I had the surgery. No, I didn't come out of it thin, um, but that's not to say my health journey is done. And I also don't care about being thin. I care. Yeah, that's another thing that pisses me off. You should care about being thin. Okay, nobody wants you to be Eugenia Cooney. Nobody. Okay. 
but she's still way too heavy for her health. I am telling you right now, go and catch up with her. Maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but trust me, when she gets north of 40, it's gonna be bad. I care about being healthy, and I feel the healthiest I have in a really long time. And I hate that I'm even talking about this because I know it's just fuel for you watching. If you don't like me and you hate watch me and you're just here to critique me, your life is sad. So I'm not hate watching her. I'm absolutely not hate watching her. I am just trying to prove a point, okay? Because if that. she... I hate that damn bell thing. You okay, can I tell you something, guys? See this headband? I was... My mother gave, gave this to me. I watched her dog last week. She went on vacation. So um, she got me this headband. And she's like, you're never going to wear this. We'll and sell it on eBay. <laughs> Papa Goob hates it, right? But I wore it because I am... Dumb. Well, I'm dumb, yeah. But um, no, I'm channeling my inner Channel, Alexandra. Channeling what? What you channeling? No, let me finish this. Come on. It needs earmuffs on the bottom of it. That's what that thing needs. It's not that bad. Jesus. Oh God! It's actually it's actually kind of squeezing my brain. So yeah. I'm going to take this off soon. Your head going to pop. <laughs> all right, back to the problem at hand. I'm not I'm not hate watching her at all. Okay. My whole goal, if you look back to the videos I made starting in January of 2023, wanted to share my story. Right. Um, I wanted to share my story because I was in, I've been an avid Amber Lynn Reed watcher since about 2018. Um, I used to watch Foodie Booty too, Foodie Booty, Foodie Beauty too, and I had to give up on that. Um, you know, Life by Jen, I, I watched them all. So I made a deal with myself in January and I love to make videos. I'm still not great at it, but that I would come out and share my story because I'm pretty successful. I'm not a model. I still have a lot of like loose skin and my legs are not correct, but I wanted to share my story. But I feel like because I'm such a small creator, I'm, I'm like yelling into the well. I just want to try to counteract what these imbeciles are saying. Okay. That's all. I'm not a hate watcher, but Feel free to call me a hate watcher in the comments and I will heart your comment if I read it because I'm busy. <laughs> I think it's really sad that you're doing that and I hope that like you find some love and joy in I your have. life if you are here watching me and... I am sharing the love and the joy in my life, guys. I'm just trying to show you. You can do it. You could do a lot of things at one time, okay? Just put your mind to it. Don't sit around and bitch and feel sorry for yourself. You actually love me and support me. I freaking love you. And I, I see a lot of you guys defend me and that just means so much, but like, it's just not right to critique my body and assume all of my eating habits and just like assume I'm a failure. You are. Because I had weight loss surgery and didn't come out of it stereotypically thin. That's not right and it's not. Well, she's not even close to, I wonder if she, I don't know what she weighs guys, I'm sorry. Maybe you do, let me know. Um, if you were to pull her BMI, she'd probably still be in the obese category. I mean, it's one thing when you're vacillating right on the overweight to normal weight, she's still obese. That's why she can't get um, life insurance. Fair, and it causes major issues to people who are in my position who are afraid to share or afraid to get surgery. Um, mm. It's just- Yeah, just you're not helping. activity online in its own right is so, it's just so icky that you would want to put someone's mental health in jeopardy. And most of you doing that are the people- Hi kids, hi. Don't let anybody put your mental health in jeopardy. Okay, I know this is hard for X, or not X, I'm X, for Gen Z's. I know it's hard for you. Nobody can ruin your mentals, okay? I mean, if you're a child and it's your parent and you can't leave, that's another argument. But somebody online, me, you're not going to destroy my mentals, guys. It, that's just not how it works, but... Keep using it as an excuse, Alexandra. Maybe it'll work. People that have in your bio, 
just peace and love like <laughs> positivity only positive vibes only That's like shitty <laughs> come on and i just haven't wanted to talk about it because it, it's it's a lot of pressure on on me anyway because like do you really not think i've put that pressure on myself already no do you think i'm not already hard on myself and it's exhausting okay if you would have been hard on yourself this wouldn't be an issue i am telling you with my full chest she is not put in the effort okay and i'm going to explain why in just a moment busting because honestly sometimes i feel like i'm just always i'm always going to be big and i've kind mm -mm. of accepted that because mm -mm. i'm not equating that with health anymore because you're I dumb just, i've always been big since i was a kid that I doesn't you mean anything. healthy and big you can't and i know when before i had my surgery i wasn't anymore and i feel great well unless by big you mean very tall okay very muscular okay but as in fat too much fat on your body and that's what's throwing you to the obese category on the bmi chart not because you're a weightlifter that's not healthy i don't care come for me go ahead right now and that's what matters to me and i'm just going to continue to work on my health regardless of what i look like eating nutritiously working out spoiler alert she doesn't at least not currently. balance healthy relationship with food like that's what it was always about for me and getting healthy to get pregnant i feel great like my doctor is like yeah. desk queen like it's good it's good so please stop with that if you keep going with it like you will be blocked like that's it that's not it's not the right thing yeah i don't go ahead block me that would be oh that would be a feather in my cap her and amber lynn <laughs> to do this is my platform and i will not stand for the cruelty i won't i do appreciate how many people have been so supportive and kind and understanding and like <sighs> gastric bypass is just not a one size fits all and it's not it, a it, one no 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 size journey fits all it, it is it it absolutely is i i'm sorry <laughs> You know, it's like people who say that if you don't eat a lot, your metabolism's going to slow down and you're going to gain weight. Again, look at people who are actually starving, okay? Maybe initially, you know, because nobody can pretty much stay on a starvation path unless, number one, they have to or they have their own mental, mental illness. You don't eat. It, it, it does come down to guys... It's calories in, calories out. I mean, you know, I mean, there are foods that can make you more inflamed. I'm not a fan of carbs, although I love carbs. It's, it's basic biology. <laughs> and she's got a section of her, um, her intestines that bypasses, so she doesn't even absorb as much. I, I just, it's a spectacular sight to see somebody like this. Oh, either. So just bottom line, be kind to people, spread love to people. You just don't know what goes on in everyone's life. I share so much of my life, but there's also so much I don't. Like these 20, 30 minute vlogs. <laughs> Sounds like somebody we know. Are out of a 24 hour period. like. It's just, there's so much. The internet, I just, it's so hard because I genuinely just, I love this job. I've been doing this job since Oh yeah, since I would love it too. And I just, Jet. it's it's so beautiful, but I also just feel like sometimes we were not created as humans to endure a world of criticism from strangers online. Okay, okay, strangers online, absolutely. But if she thinks throughout history that people didn't have to endure any comments, she's out of her fucking mind, all right? Um, there's a few people not too long ago, a few groups of people who would beg to differ, okay? Maybe they weren't, you know, behind. Actually, it was even worse. They did it to their face, like all kinds of people. Any group of people throughout history, because you want to know why? Humans are assholes. I don't know how like celebrities deal with it. Um, so they get paid a lot like, of money. We were not made to be critiqued by thousands and thousands of strangers online. Like that's just, 
our mental health was not made for that. <laughs> and it, I don't think unless you're in this position, you will ever understand the mental toughness it takes to read horrible things about yourself and just like not spiral. And I have spiraled. Thankfully, I'm in a better place, but like it's not. It's our fault, guys. It's our fault. It's not easy. And I'm not saying that to get pity or sympathy. I love my job and I'm so fortunate to have it. Mm. But like it's it's hard. It's really hard sometimes. But I'm sorry to rant about it. I don't even know if I'll put this in the vlog. Sometimes I just need to like you will. <laughs> get it off my chest. But all right. So we've had enough of this. I mean, cry me a river. Who feels sorry for her? Raise your hand. Okay, I see a few Alex supporters in the back there. Go ahead, come forward, let me know. Subscribe to me, hate watch me. I'm all here, I'm here for it. All right, guys, so now I wanna show you the evidence as to where she started out on the wrong foot with this weight loss journey. I didn't realize any of this happened. It was um, people in my comments that said, yeah, she had a whole bunch of shit for Christmas. So, um, this is less than a month out of surgery. Now, I went back and forth with this in my mind because number one, yeah, you should be celebrating the holidays. Whatever holiday you choose, you should celebrate it in the fashion that you celebrate it in. But for somebody who has just gotten gastric bypass less than a month ago, she should not have done any of this. Even just making these vlogs is a bad look, okay? So, again, I know people will be like, oh, it's Christmas, this is her job. She should have honestly waited till January to get weight loss surgery then. If she knew, and she did, she, she had to do Vlogmas. This is a big money time for her. I don't blame her. You gotta work it. But all this that she's gonna do, she shouldn't have done any of it. And uh, honestly, let's play this because um, I don't even know how she did it without vomiting. I couldn't even look at this stuff or smell it. When I'm less than one month out of friggin' surgery, I was barely eating solids. Not only that, I had no energy. Like, it was bad. I can see them. Oh, and I am gonna um, mute the music because no one cares, but yeah, she's, so she's making a, um, a hot cocoa bar. Now I'm laughing because I've made hot cocoa bars too. Like Goob, the Goob, he gets screwed for Christmas too, because his birthday's close to Christmas. So we always do something wintry, whatever, when we used to have parties for him. Um, but I would hand make the hot chocolate. Uh, none of this like crap. I would do like the no there's no artificial syrups here um she's also like lily okay honestly not gonna lie i love me some lily but there is no way she could have eaten that at this juncture no way there's just no way and she's gonna say it's protein hot cocoa and if those are sugar-free candies she's just asking for it she's no she's not asking for it she's begging for it Okay, she's begging to get sick. She, that you cannot eat a lot of sugar-free stuff. And then it's too, it's like, who is this for? Who's this for? Are these for her or for her guests? It's just bizarre, okay? Uh, I don't even know what that is. Peppermint bark was a syrup? Uh, I don't know. I, for a little bit, ooh, she made a mess. I tried to do the syrups and stuff. I just couldn't do it, but yeah. See, this is the saddest hot cocoa bar I've ever seen. So, but if it were me, I didn't get my surgery. I got my surgery two months before Thanksgiving and I was, I couldn't eat. It just, it was terrible. It was a lot of pain. So, how she could even do stuff like this is beyond me. And she's doing this for a party later. And again, she's like, oh, protein hot cocoa. Just because it has protein in it doesn't mean it's good for you. So when I say when I do it, I do it. I make hot cocoa in the crock pot. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> What's in it? Milk, regular milk. 
and then um, two cans of sweetened condensed milk, which I didn't even know what sweetened condensed milk was until I started making this hot cocoa because that's not something I would eat normally and a bag of chocolate chips and you just put it on the simmer like in the crock pot on low and it just simmers through the day and oh my god it is so rich that it'll make you vomit like a person who hasn't had weight loss surgery it'll make them vomit but and let me show you just her sad little charcuterie board so she is entertaining friends she doesn't really say anything here so I'm really not going to unmute her at this point. But yes, this is her little sad little charcuterie board. And listen, honestly, in essence, she could eat the cheese. She could eat the cheese all day. Strawberries, they don't want you to really have fruit or any carbs until like, I don't know, three, four months maybe. So um, yeah like somebody who's had gastric bypass i don't even know how she could eat like the meats the cheese looks pretty like swiss so it looks like a harder cheese like i wouldn't have any of that um fromage there i think that's what it's called um but i don't even know you have people over why are we centering all of this on food that's my point Okay, wait a second. What was this? All right, what are these? Are those jello shots? I think those are jello shots. I, I mean, hey, she probably says, Well, I didn't have any. For one year, for one year while you heal, can't you just avoid all this? That's what I would do. So here we are again. She's making cookies. She's decorating cookies. Inherently not evil. Again, though. This is right after her weight loss surgery. I couldn't even sit there and do this. And I get tra traditions. And, you know, you never know what's going to happen next year. But why is food the center of everything, guys? It's just, it's just not right. Okay? She just, and it's not like they even have little kids running around that they, you know, are trying to build traditions and, you know, you don't want to take Christmas away from little kids, but these are all grown ass adults that I could see. I don't know. Maybe, uh, somebody has kids. I, I don't know enough about her to tell you that, but look at all the people in her family. They're all, except for her mom overweight, which, um, uh, oh, by the way, fluff. Oh my God. Again, I never knew what fluff was. It's like a total New England thing. <laughs> until going to uh, Papa Goob's house for the first time when we first started dating. And um, his family lives in Maine or lived in Maine. And um, they had fluff. And I'm like, what is this? Fluff and nutter? Ugh. Yeah. I can't have fluff in the house. Mm -mm. That and Nutella. So everybody but her mom pretty much. And I think this is her mom. I'm not 100% sure. So... She is still a little pudgy. By the way, her mom has type 1 diabetes. I did not realize that. That is weird. And all this Christmas stuff, and she blamed the COVID shot. I have no idea. But all this stuff put her, almost put her into real trouble with her diabetes. So, but her family's all heavy. They could have stand to have one Christmas that food was not the center. That's all I'm saying. So I just want to show you a still shot. This is from her now, fast forward to a year after weight loss surgery. So November 17th, 2022, right? So she's getting ready to go into the holiday season again. So take note of how she looks. Guaranteed, she's beautiful. She's got a little headband on, which I'm gonna have to take this off soon because it is squeezing my brain. Her makeup is on point. Um, you know, she looks gorgeous. And all we have is to judge her by her looks, okay? That's just, it is what it is, guys, all right? But now I want you to remember this picture and now let's see, let's see the downfall or the spiral of Alex. 
All right, in this scene we're gonna watch now, this is actually uploaded on Christmas Day. So this probably had to be a few days before it. Actually, yeah, it's her 30th birthday plus Christmas Eve party. So this was probably the 24th. She's struggling to make her mother's kibasi. Okay, but what she's gonna say now I thought was pretty interesting. So let's just hear a few minutes of this. Okay, our butter is melting. I had the heat on low. I should have put on like medium. And we're gonna throw in our onions. I'm not like an onion girly most of the time, but I do love them. When it's another like one doesn't heat her pants. And sauteed. Yeah. Isn't it like wild when you watch old shows or movies and they say things that like, hi, and they say things that would like just never be okay now. Mm -hmm. They're like, what's going on with your weight? <laughs> like imagine if someone said that like, like now, like in the office, like. Well, yeah, you just bitched and moaned that people say that about you. What the hell? Does she not fucking watch her old videos? Is that what we're dealing with? Is that why Amberlynn Reed acts like this too? This is a, in essence your office and people at work are calling your weight out. So, I don't know, interesting. Well, you'd be, it's just so funny. It's like, there's so much old stuff. Yeah, well. In the media where I'm just like, I can't believe that was ever. Well, yes, because that was my whole like dive back into the uh, weight loss uh, videos of the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 70s. Yeah, I mean, stuff was harsh back then, but the uh, obese population was nothing like it is now, so I don't know. Like a thing. No wonder we're all so messed up. No wonder we're all so fat. <laughs> oh my gosh, like, I have a lot of hope for the future. You should. I really do, like, because I think the future kids of like my kids and their kids like i just it's gonna get yeah no i don't <laughs> i've seen the z's <laughs> yeah they can't handle anything guys uh, and listen if you're a gen z come for me in the comments i want to hear what you say and i want to hear how fabulous your life is and how you deal with being an adult without coloring or smoking stuff yeah i want to hear get healthier healthier mentally all right so i'm going to play this video in its entirety it's only one minute this is what i eat in a day 17 months after gastric bypass so how i found these videos besides hand looking and hand like trying to read the transcripts i searched gastric bypass in her vlogs very little i came up with but anyways, this is what she eats 17 months after gastric bypass. This is April 17th, 2023. So not too long ago. What I eat in a day 17 months after gastric bypass. I get asked all the time, what can I eat now? And here. Yeah, so the first thing, she should still not be in a position where she can do carbonation. 17 months is not a long time. Here we go. I had Nalani new when I first got up to get ready for my workout. Yes, I can have carbonation. My doctor approved. I just take small sips. Egg bites. For breakfast, I had two of these little egg bites I make at home. See. Then after my workout, I... There she goes. The protein shakes, right? You don't need that. You don't need it after your wor workout. You know what you need after your workout? Water. Okay, water and take a shower and rest a little bit. That's what you need, not a protein shake. Unless you're like... You know, somebody who's looking to bulk up, you know, are you trying to bulk up? I don't know. Had a core power protein shake. It has 26 grams of protein, tastes like chocolate milk, 10 out of 10. Got some fresh berries at the market and I washed those and snacked on some. 10 out of 10. Ha 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 ha. Do we uh, find that funny? Also kids, wash your berries right before you eat them. Okay, just take what you're gonna eat, wash those, eat them, the rest, put a put them away unwashed because, or dry them really well because the moisture in the refrigerator and they're not gonna last. Believe me, I know. The blueberries and raspberries, so delish. And then for lunch, I made a low carb quesadilla, which is like one of my favorite. Yeah, everybody with those like carb smart bullshit wraps, no. If you're gonna do the wrap, do the wrap. That is not saving you anything. Plus, it's just basic bullshit processed food. Don't even bother, all right? 
favorites. I love the carb balance wraps. I do some cheese and some grilled chicken like, breast. Season it up real good. It's absolutely delish and like the perfect. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry guys. I gotta go back. <laughs> this is grilled chicken <laughs> out of a frying pan and some grilled chicken breast <laughs> season it up real good it's absolutely delish and like the perfect portion for me right now every few hours i'm just like a snacker so every yeah. few hours i like to have a snack kiss of death kiss of death don't do it it's why i like to try to push eating back for as long as possible because if i didn't i'd be snacking all day uh, it just it is what it is it's because you can only eat a little bit at a time so when you eat that little bit you're you're hungry again pretty quick so if you just don't eat until like later in the day you're not going to be able to eat much so i know that's kind of a twisted thing but that is the only reason why maybe i'm not gaining all my weight back because i do not snack kiss of death um, a few hours later, I had some strawberries, and then a few hours after yeah. that, I had some Quest no. protein chips. I love these because I love chips, but regular ones don't make me feel good. And then for dinner, I had some like tomato reduction chicken. It was so good. All right, guys. Well, that's really all I had for you today. I just wanted to circle back and take another look at um, Alexander and prove to you that she's not any anomaly of the world anomaly of biology she is not she eats more than she lets on and the gym is not helping her guys work out for your well-being something fun to do you got to make it something you enjoy don't think that it's going to make you become less than morbidly obese Okay, guys? Well, anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Welcome to all my new viewers. I hope you're enjoying my content. If so, give this a like, thumbs up, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.